Good morning, vloggers. Today, we are starting off your morning with coffee. And mommy doing your makeup. Hi, guys. So, I'm just starting off my morning with sitting with my puppy and doing my makeup, having my morning coffee. You know, getting the day started. We start at 8. 30 today, so it's a little later than normal. Normally we start at 8, so it's not too bad, but uh, it's still nice. I get to sit with my puppy. Say hi. I said hi to everybody. Boy. You're camera shy, apparently. But I don't know, she started off the vlog. Uh, so I'm going to get back to doing my makeup, and I will see you guys later. So, I don't know if I ever told you guys that I'm engaged, but, you know, I am. Woohoo! Yay! Pretty sparkly ring. Anyway, uh, there have been so many times when I've tried to talk to my fiancé about the wedding, and about ideas that I have for the wedding, and he starts to get that. Like, deer caught in the headlights look. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, okay, why don't we just elope? So many times I've thought, why don't we just get it over with, elope, run away, not have to deal with the, anybody coming to the wedding, don't worry about invitations, don't worry about a dress, you know, I'll just, we, we can save up all our pesos, all our little dineros, euros, whatever, whatever rubles, rupees, you know, whatever country it is, whatever form of money, save up our Canadian dollars and then transfer them over to whatever it is and run away to wherever it is and just elope. Don't tell anybody. Just do it and then come back and be like, yeah, we're there. Oh, yeah, bitches. But I want my mom to be there and I want my dad to be there and I want his parents to see us get married and... Oh, marriage is... You know, even before you actually get married, married, marriage is frustrating. So, if you're ever thinking of getting married to that guy that you really, really like, and, you know, you say yes, just don't do it. No. You know what? Just get the engagement and the wedding ring at the same time and just say we're done. So what's the point? Well, that's currently what I'm thinking. I know what the point is because you want to celebrate the factor that you've found the guy and that he's found you and that this is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. But then all of the other stuff is totally not worth it. Finding the money for the decorations and the flowers and the venue. Luckily, I don't have to pay anything for my venue or, you know, if I did, it's very minimal. You know. I'm lucky with a lot of things. And I am so grateful for this. I have family and friends and all of that. So, essentially, I wouldn't have to put out that much money. But, you know, a wedding is a wedding and you still have to put out money. Whether it's for the dress or the flowers or decorations or the hall or... And of course, it's finding dates that coincide with everybody in your bridal party. On top of that, everyone in your family, because then you're going to invite all of these people, and like 90, maybe 50% of them aren't going to show up. But, yeah, that's my rant. Hey guys! So, <clears throat> got some news. We got a new vehicle, yay! Uh, we used to own a truck, now it's going to be a Grand Jeep, Grand Cherokee Jeep, or you know, Jeep Cherokee. It's weird, sounds funny. But anyway, uh, that's kind of exciting, and you know, I guess not too bad. But it's nice, it's got leather interior, and though the heated seats don't really work anymore, there was heated seats, which is 
you know, nice. Yeah, in the winter you can heat your bum. Which, you know, goes up and warms your back and then you're not feeling that chill in your back, so it's good. Uh, other than that, uh, life has been going, you know, except for that pimple on my cheek, which I keep playing with. Oh, I hate that when you have like the lump in the pimple, you feel it and you think there's something in it and you keep looking at it and you're just like, yeah, I want to deal with that. What do you do with that? And you play with it and play with it and it becomes a massive scar. Hence the reason why most women probably wear makeup. I know that's why I wear makeup. It's terrible. But yeah, the days have been going really nice because I thought once uh, Logan wasn't here anymore that with all the dogs we kind of had grooms that it would go, or, or uh, <clears throat> scheduled, that would go kind of crazy. But it hasn't. You know, it's been fairly good. And lately we've had quite a few late days. But, uh... You know, it's not like too much of a problem. It's good. <sighs> and, well, today it's kind of gloomy outside. So we've got another rainy day in Fort McMurray. June and... Uh, what is it? Because this month is June, May, even April. And I think we still had snow in April. So this month has been like crazy. These last few months have been crazy, like dark and chill. And so I can't go outside. Can't run because I don't want to, well, be perfectly fine to run in the rain. I just don't exactly want to run in the rain because then I'd be cold, but you'd also be sweaty. And so you'd be like kind of hot, cold, sweaty, clammy. Clammy's never good. Mm -mm. Clammy gross. I mean, come on. When you shake somebody's hands and they have clammy hands, you're just like. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I have two weddings coming up this month. Oh my god, my brothers are getting married. <gasps> so exciting. And for one of them, I get to be on the bridal party. Oh, oh, oh. And then party down. Woohoo! Anyway, and uh, <clears throat> for the other, not so much. But I get to be there. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be able to drive our new vehicle by that time because it's July 5th which is late coming up because today is I don't know it's June something I think it's in the teens like 7 no not 17 10 no not no 11th 12th <laughs> anyway, uh, it's June something and uh, so, and I will be wearing a dress that my mother made. It'll be so beautiful. I love my mom. She is the best seamstress in the universe. Well, I'm biased because she's my mother. And I love her. Mwah! Love you, mommy. Uh, she makes me pajama pants. She makes me dresses. And oh my god, she made this blanket, which is somewhere here. It's a Thai blanket. She made it for my fiance. It's so cute. It's Batman! See? Look. Batman blanket. Woohoo! And it's made out of fleece. So it's like soft but yet warm. So it's like the perfect combination. Soft and snuggly! I will never get a snuggie. Though... At first, I used to think of it like, really? A snuggie? How dark is that? No. But it's actually really not. It's very, very intelligent because what part of your body gets cold the most often and where do you want the blanket anyway other than, you know, sure, it's really nice on your lap, but you want to cover your front up too and then you have to do stuff. So it makes it really hard. So you wrap the blanket around your back so that you can cover your arms but still use your hands. Whereas the snuggie goes from the front to the back and covers your arms because it has sleeves. 
So you're hands free and yet still cozy. But they come in like essentially it's the most horrendous looking device ever. And it doesn't come in cute patterns like this or this. <clears throat> this is my lamb lamb blanket. I absolutely love owls and lambs. Well, black lambs, preferably. But. Stars, owls, lambs, and puppies. But then, when it comes to dogs, I'm a little biased too, because I'm a dog groomer and I own a dog, so kind of hard not to love dogs when you own a dog. If you owned a dog and hated them, then that's just not a very good combination. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. So the fiance found out yesterday that our new Jeep has a built-in GPS. Sweet! And he thinks that maybe we can watch movies on it. So for car trips, we don't only have to just bring like the uh, AVX cord so that you can hook it into your iPod to listen to music. You can actually bring movies and watch them on the little screen. <gasps> so cool. Though, yeah. See, we'll probably just end up using it for GPS because I really don't like the idea of watching a movie like... Some drivers are easily distracted, and that is a terrible distraction in a vehicle. I mean, plus they have the no distraction law now, which means no texting, no calling, uh, or anything like that. So, yeah, we'll have to see. Plus, it's just really nice to know that we don't need that other GPS system because we now have an onboard GPS. Because so there, there will never be a need for that little uh, hooky thing. Because you have like the little circle, and then it has a plastic bit, and it hooks up to the uh, the dashboard so that you can turn it so that the driver can see it. And we lost ours. So last time we were in the city, I was sitting there. Holding it like, you know, like this, and I'm just like, I am Vanna. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm just like, oh. So my arm was getting tired because I'm standing there holding this camera. Though, essentially, I do that when I'm talking to you guys. So, really big difference. <laughs> yeah. But this will be the last vlog of, you know, because it's a new day, and I'm ending it, you know, well, maybe. Anyway, bye!